We've been working with our flame detail all the way around um, our mostly green hair tie. And what you see, because I didn't space it out that much, it's mostly blue now, which is you know, kind of, it's really intense compared to the green that it was before. Like I said, you can space them out more if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. But what I did was whenever I ended one, I started the next one right next to it instead of spacing out my flames, which is, of course, just very easy. Just double crochet along until you want to start going down again. Now we're almost done. And when you get to the end, depending on how many chains you have left, you might not be able to do a complete one, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is seven different pieces. So I've got two started, I've got three started already, one, two, three, and I've got four, five, six, seven. So we should be able to finish this perfectly. We'll see. So just keep working. And then go all the way down on this one. And if you don't have the same number, that's fine. Just stop it wherever you like to. Uh, you can overcompensate by making a more narrow flame if you want. But really, I think it looks fine if you just cut it off if you have to. But just keep working through there. Oh, forgot to grab my yarn first. And just pull it through. And then last one, and we'll be all the way around. Okay. Now, just like anything else, we're just going to go ahead and close this up. We're going to go right there and pull our yarn through both of them. And there we go. We've got a completed hair tie using our single crochets and adding a flame detail. You're just going to want to cut it off and just work backwards, weaving it in and out. And there you go, and you can melt off your frayed pieces if you want to. But we have a very unique scrunchie that you can tie around your hair, and you can mess with all the different colors and different combinations and make it as big or as small as you like. Really easy, but really neat to have.